Hi! I have been getting a lot, a lot of questions and comments asking me to please, 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 one person said please, 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 show me more of the Duomo crossbody bag that I have. Um, they are considering, this person is considering getting one. I've had, I'm going to say about four or five in the last couple days asking me to show more about this bag. So I do have other videos explaining like what uh, fits in this Duomo crossbody by Louis Vuitton compared to Speedies. So that really helps to know what fits apples to apples kind of thing. Um, and you will be amazed at what fits in this bag. It, it fits a lot, a lot more than you think. It doesn't feel like such a large bag and it doesn't really, you know, feel on your body like a large bag, but it does fit a lot of things. So here is my Duomo. It's been about a year. It'll be a year next month that I've owned this bag and I have used her quite a bit. Um, it's not every day that I use this bag. I did for a while though. I have several times for a while, but in general, it's my bag that I grab when I need a hands-free weatherproof option. And my daughter does a competitive horse back riding. I have I take this to the barn for her competition days all the time. It fits a water bottle, car keys, you know, anything I need, a protein bar, gloves if it gets chilly. Um, I don't have to worry about water, rain splashing on it. Um, so far we've not been caught out in the rain, but it's a great one in case we are. It never really is a worry or a bother for me because I know the treated it comes with a treated leather, which is never a problem, and the canvas just wipes right off. So this has been my go-to bag for anything like that or festivals farmers markets, you know, anything like that that I want to go to where I just really want my hands free, but I want to be able to carry a few things with me. This bag is perfect. So like I said, I have that other video that shows what fits. So what I'll do now, since it's almost been a year, I will show you what wear and tear there is on my Duomo crossbody bag. Okay. Hopefully the camera will uh, cooperate with me and you'll be able to see what I'd like, you know, the, the quality and the, the, the condition everything is in. As you can see, the brass is still beautiful, the gold hardware. The leather tabs are still perfect. Everything is, is still very, very good shape. The sides, the corners. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking to see what's in the camera frame, but I don't want it to focus on my face. The bottom. And so forth. Okay. In the handle. Alright, inside, let me show you in there. It's a red fabric interior with a large flap or flat, flat pocket here, and then two flat pockets on this other side. Slip pockets. With a very generous interior. And one of the beauties about this bag is that you can cram this thing so full it's absolutely unbelievable and thing, it still zips. Or you can just put a few things down in the bottom and it just kind of smushes up against your body. It kind of molds more to your body. I will put in some shots of me wearing it um, in different ways at different levels, the length of the strap. But it just kind of, you know, molds to your body nicely. You don't have to have it be this stiff box on your, you know, hip or anything, which is very, very nice. I carry it on the middle hole. There are one, two, three, four, five holes. I carry it in the middle setting, and that setting is approximately 20 inches from here to the top, and that's if it's not slouching. So if, if you put this to the very, very top, from here to here is 20 inches on the middle setting, 22 on the longest, and 18 on the shortest. Um, so I will pretty, pretty much probably now-ish put in some pictures of me wearing it at the three different lengths. Um, the shortest one I showed as a shoulder carry rather than a cross body carry so you can see what that looks like because I did have a request for that also.
basically this thing is in amazing shape. I have been using this. I have been loving it. There's nothing at all wrong with it in any way. Let's see. A little tiny bit of wear on the corners just where the glazing is. Just this one side has the slightest little, slightest little mark. I do find that the only, I wouldn't say problem, but the only thing that I have ever noticed that could, could possibly be considered a problem for someone is that occasionally this will fall forward and you'll, you'll run the corner into something. But it's really not see if I can hide here. It's really not a huge issue at all if you're going to use the bag and not just, you know, baby it to pieces. That will, that will happen a little bit, but it's not a problem at all. Um, the handle. The only thing that someone might be bothered by, and I can understand it if that's who, you know, the type of thing you are, I'm bothered by strange <laughs> tabs that flip up for some strange reason. So this could bother someone, but it does not bother me. It's, it's the physics of leather in my mind. But as you can see, maybe there's a little bit of crinkling where the leather has had to stretch from going over the shoulder. You know, it's stretched out a little bit, so you'll get that, that crinkling. It's not cracked. See, there's the other side. It just, when you do this all the time, yeah you'll get a little bit of that but other than that like i say that's not a flaw in any way shape or form it's just the physics of leather oops one to focus on me there we go so basically this bag i'm not sure what else to say about it i mean i've had so many people saying please show it again please show it again but i'm not sure what else to say i do um, I mean, it fits so much. Like I say, I'll, I will put that part of the video in there so you can see, you know, you can go, refer to that and see what all fits in this bag. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's great for uh, when you have weather issues. If you live in a snowy or, you know, rainy climate, this is an absolutely perfect bag. Um, I like that it's not a, a model that you see coming and going. It's, it's rare. I get more questions about this bag when I'm wearing it than any other, which is fun. People have never seen it before and then they love it and then they buy it and then they tell me how much they loved it so anyway this is another showing of my Duomo that it's been about a year and basically she looks brand new and I'm so happy with this bag so anyway thank you so much for joining me if you have any specific questions that I didn't cover I'm not sure what else to cover I mean, there's no you know glazing problems there's nothing like that um it is just held up beautifully and this one is made in france i believe they all are but i'm not positive of that and um yeah i am still very much in love with this bag and i highly recommend it so thank you so much i'll talk to you guys later bye